Okay, uh, today we've got a real quick lesson on uh, the importance of liquid uh, streaming flow. And uh, previously it had never been understood how important it is to deliver fertilizer in a streaming flow. Um, the discoveries uh, actually occurred uh, maybe back in the late 70s uh, as an example, but was never fully exploited until we were able to develop uh, an orifice that would terminate the NH3 flow. And so if we could hold pressure and deliver liquid uh, right to the injection point, um, that meant that it proceeded on outward in a uniform lineal band. And this uniform lineal band uh, is explained in this little graph here. And you can see this line, uh, this band line, is actually a consistent uniform band. And what was going on with the, uh, the NH3 systems that do not use a terminal orifice is that they were delivering ammonia in globs. And even though it would appear that it was going out as even and uniform, it actually has areas of higher and lower concentration. And so this is what causes the availability problems with ammonia, is that this over-concentration here will actually burn and prune root roots. Whereas some of these areas, it's under-applied, way under-applied, and then back to being um, over-applied. So it's a sinusoidal, or it's an up and down delivery. I mean, you hit the per acre rate, but you don't get the band rate uh, absolutely uniform. And so that's what we're looking for, is an absolute uniform band application. And uh, you see this band right here. This is the most desirable aspect of delivering anhydrous ammonia along with polyphosphate is that when the roots uh, hit this band, it's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This porridge is just right and makes for uh, less material being required to raise a good crop. So this uh, uniformity, uh, lineal band length, not only is the row to row accuracy important and the per acre rate important, but the actual most important thing is the lineal streaming band. That is what makes it work so well. Okay, just a quick lesson on uniformity and how it improves the availability of uh, nutrients in production of all crops.